We have a choice. You have a choice. Together, should we heal our amazing world? We've seen the evidence, and right now, around a million species of plants and animals face extinction. It's so easy to feel like things are completely out of our control. But how can we save the planet? I have three simple rules for you to follow if you want to make a difference. Think sustainable, less is more, and it starts at home. The food and drinks we buy can have a massive impact on wildlife and plants across the world. Products such as cocoa, coffee, and palm oil can all be major drivers of biodiversity loss. Farming them can destroy unique natural habitats like rainforests. Check the label and try to buy sustainably sourced products and ingredients where you can. But all food production has an impact. So one of the best things you can do is to simply cut down on food waste. With the money you save, you can afford to buy less, but better. If we went vegan for two thirds of our meals, our food related greenhouse gas emissions would go down by 60%. That's massive, but every little helps. If you have meat for lunch and dinner, try having it just once a day instead. We all need protein, it's true, but it isn't only found in meat. Nuts and tofu are extremely protein rich and protein from lentils and beans is really good value too. What's more, they're good for your health as well as the planet's. And when you do get those meat cravings, try to buy local meat with a smaller carbon footprint, like chicken or pork. For fish, you can be sure that the fish you're buying is sustainably farmed if it carries the MSC sustainability label. Steer clear of overfished species like Atlantic salmon and Atlantic cod. The fashion industry is responsible for around 10% of the world's yearly carbon emissions. That's more than all the international flights and maritime shipping combined. Can you believe that? Making our clothes, toys and technology uses up a huge amount of water, causes a lot of air and water pollution and leads to deforestation. Think about whether you really need that new thing. If you do, try going for pre-loved items. They'll cost a fraction of their original price, you'll look great and you'll be helping the planet. Win, win, win. Switching to a green energy provider for heating and electricity will substantially reduce your personal greenhouse gas emissions. Going green often doesn't cost more than other standard energy providers. Making sure all your lights are LEDs will save on energy, whilst also lowering your electricity bill. And one free and super easy thing you can do is actually switching off appliances when you aren't using them. Switching things off will save energy and save you money too. Tiny creatures at the bottom of the food chain have a huge effect on all of the other creatures that depend on them for food. We're all connected. Let your garden grow wild or create a window box oasis with native wildflowers for insects and other creatures. If you still have time to spare, you can think about switching to an eco-friendly ethical bank that avoids investing in industries that will harm the planet's biodiversity. There is a lot we can all do to become ethical consumers and change the course of history. So think sustainable. Remember that less is more and it starts at home. Adjust your diet, buy less and buy secondhand. And if you can, turn your home into an environmental oasis. <laughs>